The Hudsonville and Rockford girls basketball teams have been battling for the OK Red for the last several years. The talent is pretty even, but it's been the Eagles that have won five in a row in the series and six of the last seven, meeting number one of what could be three this year tonight at Rams Arena. Home team entered a perfect 8-0 on the season. First quarter, it's J.C. Tubergen bringing it up court, pulls up, drains a three. The senior led all scores with 18. Ten of those came in the first quarter. We fast forward to the fourth. Rams down four. Sammy to Kuiper to Alyssa. Why pitch in the corner for three. We got a one-point ball game. This one just always lives up to it. The Tubergen going to kick it to Elena Diaz. Her third game of the season gets the hoop and the harm. Hudsonville pulls away with the 62-48. Chris Gorski has more on this one from Rockville. Hudsonville gets the win here tonight. They come back in that fourth quarter and pull away to hand Rockford their first loss on the season. The Eagles look so good tonight now that they're back at full strength with Elena Diaz playing in her third game. She had 14 points, eight in the fourth quarter. I would say Rockford is a really good team and it's their aggressiveness makes me more aggressive, I guess. And the team cheering us on just makes us play like aggressively. I couldn't have been here without my teammates. They really pushed me in practice and they made me who I am today. You know, having Elena back and being able to get to the hoop and finish like she does, that's just a, it's a phenomenal thing for our team right now. It's a battle tonight. I mean, either team, it was, it was a one-point game at the third quarter or whatever it was, and just back and forth, and we were fortunate tonight to, to come out on top and, and, and have that advantage. So. Coach Glass also talked about how the tough non-conference schedule they took on helped prepare them for games like this, and you need to play tough teams if you want to win in the OK Red. Hudsonville remains unbeaten in conference play. They'll look to keep it that way next week when they go to Caledonia. From Rockford High School, I'm Chris Gorski for the Fox 17 Blitz.